Hello there guys, my name is Jay Gimpy Dwarf and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers Spotlights. So, what are we looking at today? Well, I went back to my old pal Dark Lord, who has produced a set of ships that are really, really quite cool to look at and they remind me very much of the 21st century design of spacecraft and aircraft and they have a really cool use to them as well which is something you don't see a lot on the workshop and I'm slowly seeing it more as ideas progress and people start to get bored with the whole concept of building war machines. So what we've got here is the Pulsar corporate yacht. Now this has a second version which is a reconnaissance version but this one as it states is a corporate yacht so this is designed to move politicians, senators and people like that around the galaxy to different sectors in comfort and allow them to carry on with work as usual while they're in transit. So it's a really cool idea and it's been done in like you know in quite a few movies in like Star Wars and things but the design of this ship just looks gorgeous. I mean, if you guys recall a stealth bomber that was like black and I think it was an American stealth bomber and it was like one of the most expensive stealth bombers in the world and uh, they were really hard to maintain and things like that and they are really expensive to maintain and they discontinued them I believe. It reminds me very much of that shape and the wings as well just really do set it off for this and the, the paint as well how he's jagged it off as well makes it look really really cool and I really do like this ship it's got like some really cool looking they look like inlets but they're not they're kinda just like uh, handles or something they're really really cool they allow like the air, well, air to flow through it but again we're in space no air but uh, it's really really nice now this does have landing pads. Now this took me a while to figure out. It does have them but they're the maglock pads which just allow for contact directly onto a surface and you can lock in place which is really cool. So it does have a feature enabled to land on stations and planets and things like that which is quite cool. So I think without further ado we'll go and have a look inside. Now this is the underbelly of it which looks really really cool. He likes to keep things open because that means stuff is lightweight and you know essential rather than anything else so it looks really really cool and again for the purpose of the ship it won't or shouldn't get into contact with people you know or pirates hopefully not anyway so it's really really cool so we'll head up into here which is of course the uh, airlock but of course this ship doesn't have any air capabilities at the moment because the small ships not being able to have enclosed areas with oxygen at the moment so we come through here and then instantly we're greeted with this bedroom section where we've got two beds either side, so we've got four in total. And this is where your senators, politicians, important people would sleep and uh, take a load off while they're waiting to get to their destination. We've got a few windows here which allow the light to sort of ray through which are freaking out a little bit but uh, either way it still looks gorgeous. And then coming through this door, going right the way through, we come into the main meeting area. Now, you have some seats here with some screens displaying the uh, information about the ship. I believe that's done by M Masters. Well done again, buddy, for getting mods into pretty much every spotlight I'm doing currently. It's uh, really nice to see that it's been used really well. And uh, we've got some, we've got four seats here, a nice little table where you can, you know, your senators can sit down and have meetings and discuss important matters within the galaxy. And we've also got this uh, like table and chair so you can actually sit down and do other business such as you know create spreadsheets and stuff in space. Oh my god how interesting is that right? So we do have the ability to turn the lights on and off in certain sections so we've got the lights for here and the lights for there as I've just demonstrated and uh, we've got this nice sort of walking section where you've got like a handrail like makeshift handrail made out of the uh, the um, blocks, uh, the... I can't remember the name of them now, I completely had a brain fart, my god. The blast door blocks, there we go. So, we've also got a ramp here which is coloured differently to say, whoa, 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 watch out, you're gonna, you know, trip over if you don't walk on this bit. So it's really, really cool, bit of health and safety in mind there as well, nice sort of uses that would be taken into account when designing the ship for, you know, personnel purposes like this. So, We've got a bathroom now, and we've got the toilet, your sink. My only issue with this is you can't get to the shower. Now, I've tried crouching, and you can get in by crouching, but you can't actually get in the shower properly, and I just have to fly out here, and um, it's a bit weird with the head 
box and the collision box and whatnot. But uh, either way, that aside, it still looks really nice in here. And I, th I believe these are here for um, refilling of oxygen tanks. So you can jump in here, pick out a tank, and you know refill. So he has thought of how the hell are you going to refill your oxygen, which is good. And coming through this door, we'll go into the main area now for the cockpit. Now this is the cockpit. We've got some screens again displaying information about the ship. What's you know what's stored in here, the power capacity, yada yada yada. We've got some um, some screens and things here that are you know just displaying a whole heap of buttons. And then we can jump inside. Now there is another version right next to it, which is the reconnaissance version, but I'll show you that in a second before I'll fly it. So this thing does get up to speed pretty nicely and does control very nicely. It doesn't go too fast, however I've just got it to overload which I haven't managed to do yet so it does overload when you turn and uh, try and halt as well as do something else at the same time which could be an issue um, as you can see they are flipping out a little bit so that could be a potential issue but other than that I think you could probably correct that with the, just uh, the addition of some uh, more reactors but uh, yeah, it's a really, really nice ship. It does handle pretty well. Slows down fairly slowly, which is kind of a worrying thing. But again, you'd get this thing up to speed, and you know you wouldn't um, you wouldn't want to slow down in a hurry. You just want to get there, and then you start to slow down on your approach to the station or planet. So it's quite a nice design, in all fairness. I really do like how comfortable it is. You know, if you were thinking about it in terms of living in it. Now. The reconnaissance version is different in a um, few different ways. Its colour scheme has changed obviously to a different camouflage scheme so this is more for stealth purposes, moving around under the radar and uh, you know just, just getting in and out of there figuring what, what the enemy's trying to do. We do have these laser antennas, we've got one on the top and then we have two on the bottom sections. These are potentially for drones to allow for you know this ship to take control of other drones in the Phoenix fleet, which is Dark Lord's fleet. And uh, you know they can then use them to their own uses, which is kind of cool. Now coming through here, nothing really changes besides colour schemes. We've got blue and black rather than the red and white chairs, uh, well beds, and we've got some you know the same blue lighting and through here this is where it really does change a lot we've actually got a smaller desk here which is quite nice and uh, that shows things on the screen really nice and we've also got two more chairs here displaying more information maybe about you know what sectors they're in all this sort of stuff so coming through here the bathroom is the same and uh, the cockpit is the same i believe these chairs are pushed a bit further forward for a bit more visibility which is quite nice to think that he's thought of that, maybe it was just a design change, but who knows. So, that is basically the builds, guys. I would seriously consider going checking them out because they're really, really cool, really, really nice to, to play around with and fly and even customize yourself. I really want to actually take this build and ask Dark Lord if I can customize the interior just because it's a really, really nice build to work with and I think I could probably do something really nice with the interior amongst what he's done as well. So if you guys have enjoyed this and if you've enjoyed the uh, build then go and check it out on the, on the workshop. I'll put the link in the description below. And again if you guys have enjoyed please like, favour and of course subscribe for more and I'll see you guys later. Peace.